John, great to see you. Uh, John, so tell us a little bit about um, the, the, the opportunities with energy and sustainability here in Vieques and what you're trying to accomplish. Well, it's totally opposite of what I've, did in, what I've done in Canada. Obviously, totally different uh, parameters and forces that you're dealing with. And it's actually quite easy here. Uh, our whole hotel is oriented to the trade winds. So consequently, it hasn't been necessary that we would have air conditioning. Thus, we have a very low energy uh, regime and cost here in, in, uh, in our hotel. And there's profitability, therefore. So any of the houses that I make for my clients, uh, I try to orient them in such a way that we take advantage of that cross ventilation. That's, that's a key uh, ingredient. And that's a key ingredient in enjoying the Caribbean, I think. I mean, who wants to be in air conditioning? You could be that in New Jersey. Tell us sort of what the Hicks House is from a design standpoint and what you hope people experience by being here. I think actually the advantage that we had is that we really didn't know anything about the hotel industry. You know, we weren't really trained as hoteliers. We didn't go to school to learn about it. And consequently, what we, the, the main ingredient is that we actually put a kitchen in every one of the hotel rooms. And we therefore didn't have to do sort of the bed and breakfast thing. We really uh, were appalled by the idea that we would have to make breakfast for people. And the other thing that I think is really important, what Hicks Island House gives to others, is that they get to experience nature. You know, which is a contrast to their mundane experiences in, let's say, Manhattan or Boston or whatever. And the essence of recreation for me is getting away from that mundane experience. So that's really, I think, the, the key factor here. We, like others, found Vieques through the Casa Frances. And um, my wife uh, discovered uh, this place. And the Casa Frances did not have air conditioning. And I don't know if you recall it, but it was a beautiful house built in about 1903 for a French family that were in the sugar plantation, uh, sugar industry. And it had an atrium in the center with trees growing up and cross ventilation for all the rooms, which worked very well for a family because you didn't really need the uh, privacy from the rooms to another room. Maybe it didn't work as well for a, um, for a hotel. So that's why we came to Vieques, because it hadn't been developed. And quite frankly, it still hasn't been developed when you really think about it. We've been here now for, since we were tourists, I would think around 27 years. And um, it, it really was, uh, we were attracted to it because of all its uh, nature and, and undeveloped uh, sort of Caribbean island. It's like the central park of the Caribbean, in my opinion. So it really hasn't changed that much. And, and how do you see development coming or not coming? Or you know, uh, uh, where, where might things develop? But what are your hopes well, and fears? Well, I have to tell you about a house that I developed about a year and a half ago, which is totally off grid. And it's not so difficult here, because we really do have a lot of sun. And we don't really need air conditioning if you design the, the envelope of a house correctly to catch cross ventilation here. So this house, uh, the swimming pool runs directly from solar panels that run the pump. And when the sun shines, the pump pumps. When the sun is covered with a cloud, the pump drops down. The house itself has solar panels, electric solar panels, solar hot water, and batteries. And my clients have not had an electric bill uh, for the year and a half that they've been in the house. So what I would hope for Vieques is this, that we actually build a lot of houses that are uh, dependent on solar energy. And what we're doing here at the hotel, we're going to expand the hotel with six new lofts, which we start construction in within a month. And that, those lofts will be totally off-grid. And the people that live there will have the experience of being in uh, an environment which does not use uh, commercial electrical. Now think about a Vieques a minute. If you think of Vieques as a microcosm of a, of a country, 
wouldn't it be wonderful if the Navy would clean up the end of the island just to a certain extent in which there wasn't any explosives left, not clean it up anymore, and spend the money on a wind farm at the end of the island where we have a tremendous amount of wind all the time. And wouldn't the image be great if eventually we started developing using electrical cars on the island and, then, and, and running off the wind farm at the end of the island? So my image for Vieques is actually maybe a little futuristic, but I think totally plausible now because wind farms in Denmark, in, in Germany, and all over Europe, and starting in the United States, work. And if we could have Vieques as this off-grid island, you could do an off-grid nation. Fantastic. Well, thanks very much, John. You're welcome.